we came from California and then the Phoenix area as well. And uh, to be honest, we didn't get any social, any support at all because we did not look like the investors that we were talking to. We did not look like their kids or their grand grandkids. So they could not see past that. So all of our companies, we bootstrapped. We were forced to bootstrap, but we made it work. However, um, that's different out here. Um, that's now we have a list of people who we might have to say no to. So that's a, that's a good thing. And to dig a little bit deeper in the why, why I, we personally felt that was happening is, you know, not only did they just not, they, they, there was, you know, there was no way for them to really relate to us. Uh, it was just uh, the traditional good old boys club in places like California. Uh, we had a business that was doing almost $3 million in ARR. So when I took a flight to Silicon Valley, I mean, there was just a nonstop list of, you know, this, these are the things that you guys are not doing. And, these are the things we'd like for you to do and et cetera. And then when we would go out and take this list for the first go around and like, okay, we did it. And we would follow up with these investors. Well, here's some more things that we would like for you to do. It was just continuous roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. But then you'll get some kid from Stanford University who's never worked a job in their life, right? Which I'm gonna out hustle them every single day, right? That's how I, that's my job. Like they're not gonna close deals over me, but they privilege, right? And, uh, and that's, you know, just calling it for what it is. but. You know, shout out to Alicia and myself for not giving up. We've always known when preparation meets opportunity, that's when it's go time. And that's that's exactly what's happening right now with Planly. And I do I do want to point out something um, because obviously I am a woman. Um, so being in the room with other investors um, as a female raising money, um, don't be afraid to cut those meetings short. If you feel that the meeting is off to a rocky start just because you feel like maybe the person is um, flirting with you instead of actually trying to figure out what you need for, for the business. Don't be afraid to say, you know what, this is not the right fit. Um, I'm going to go because that has happened a lot when it came to me um, starting the fundraising process in the beginning of the year. That happened a lot. And Earl has actually witnessed that we both were on a call and one of the investors um, straight out asked us, is this your brother and we're in the same house our kids are running and screaming in the background same last name yeah and um it, it just rubbed us the, the wrong way and that's when he actually realized oh you actually go through that too as well when you're in the room with other male investors but it's different yeah yeah it's a different experience so i was like she said just don't be afraid to say no yeah. it's not a good fit don't be afraid to walk away from the business don't be afraid to walk away from investors yeah. You know, don't sell your soul for your business. Make sure you are well, right? That's important. Um, and you got to do what's best for you and your business. And it may not be a good fit. And trust me, there's enough investors out there that will see the value in what you're doing and the problem you're solving.